In this video, watch as we gather feedback for Don Terrio Hundun and his song, Smoke. That's like some cool little smooth trap flow, like the self trap with a cool little melody. Like what you're saying, kind of got like a, a party vibe, but like still that real hustle with like a laid back swag still catching it. I give it an 8 out of 10. Like I can that. see it on YouTube and like Revolt, probably pop up on the radio like, you know, Atlanta, Memphis, Cali, Sacramento, up north, Midwest. The buzz get in the south, maybe New York could get it. I could dig it. That's crazy. You said Midwest. He's from Chicago, man. Okay, for yeah. sure. So what Chi-Town kind of, stand up, uh, walk yeah. in LA, Doc yeah. Chambers. Yeah. I probably have to be like rolling a blunt, wearing a hookah, chilling with a chick or playing some video games or writing, you feel me? That's that, man. Don Terry or Hun Dog, keep doing your thing, keep getting the flow, keep coming with that that trap and that, and that melody, and just articulate more and, and get more in your hype and your vibe and step in your engagement just to step it up, and just keep it keep it thorough like you do. Don't ever don't ever fake the funk. Keep it what you are on your hustle and, and keep writing your picture and, and get your punchlines up and get your weight up. Man, where you from, brother? L.A. <laughs> I like your cheese. It's, it's, it's hard for a lot of up-and-coming rappers when they link up with certain producers. It's hard for them to actually rap on beat. And when they get with engineers and stuff like that, they get into a certain, you know, laid-back experience. When they start working with experience, you know, you know, producer, you know, and then they start jumping around. They don't know how to stay with a, a beat. You know what I mean? So he was actually on beat and you know, you know, comfortable and smooth with it. So I actually liked the way he was going with that record. Uh, it's really good. It reminded me of Young Thug a lot. He was probably influenced by him. Yeah, I really like the part where he like says he wants smoke. The beat is catchy as fuck, man. Yeah. I like that little snare drum that comes yeah. in. Yeah. Thun, thun. Bam, it's bad as fuck. Me, honestly, that, that's a driving track right there. Like, you see how I'm riding right now on that? I would have thrown that shit on this, on this, on this bike right here, and I'd have been swerving all around the streets right now. Uh -huh. Straight, just, just, bam, just, just, just riding around the city right now. Word, you feel right? me? <laughs> so I like that track. Driving move, really, because you could just fucking put your windows down and just bump that shit cruising down. What's this street again? Sunset. Sunset. There we go. I mean, it doesn't sound different from what I'm used to hearing. I mean, nice flow, but I don't know. I'm just too used to that sound. So. <laughs> It's a little bit oversaturated with that, that flow. I need to hear something more. But it doesn't sound bad. But like that guy, Dontario? Dontario Honda. Honda. Yeah. Then he has potential. I'd have to be high, honestly. Because uh -huh. <laughs> it, it just sounds like background music, if that makes sense. But not mm. to like shame it. Mm. Just something you hear when you're out, people having a good time. But I wouldn't play it on my own walk down the street. I would say Mr. Han Dunn, look for more versatile beats in terms of something that doesn't sound like everything else. Look more into instruments and talk about things that others aren't talking about. Because we all go through the same shit, I get it, but you get tired of hearing the same scenarios in the song sometimes, so I think that would make him stand out a little bit more. That should take fire. It's alright. I mean, uh, the mixing ain't all there, but that shit fire. Okay. That's I can dope. fuck with it. Okay. Where you from? He from Chicago, man. Which part? Nah, he spent some shit. I right. can fuck with it. Right. I definitely hear that shit on the radio. Okay. I can fuck with it, you know what I mean? I'm from New York, so I mean, that shit, that shit would definitely move out there. I'll tell you that. Man, fire, bro. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. I like that. I fuck with it. I ain't never heard it, bro, but I hear him now. You feel me? Definitely gonna tap into him. Westside, Florida, California. That shit has a lot to it. I was fucking with it. It's a smoking song. It's something you can vibe out to out of a kickback, anything. It's just a good song all around. Now look, there are a lot of programs. I turn down most things, but I love this bit right now. I love this program. Is my shit tight? And that's what you gotta watch. Three programs. Jimmy Kimmel, Howard Stern, and Is My Shit Tight.